What's up, folks? This is Cutizzle Cali here. Yep, okay, last week I made a video of the top 10 best songs of 2012. Those were just the songs that I thought were the 10 best songs of this year. Now, this week I'm going to go reverse and do the top 10 worst songs of 2012. Now, just to get things started with the roles, like, these are all songs, like, they had to get national exposure. It couldn't just be some song that was on somebody's CD that never got played on the radio or not, no one that really knew about it. These are all like national exposed songs. So yeah. Okay, let's just get things going. Starting off the list, number 10, Juicy J featuring 2 Chains and Lil Wayne, Bands Maker Dance. Just another generic, whack-ass hip-hop song. And the song's by Juicy J. He was one of the members of that Famous two-hit wonder band, 3-6 Mafia, who had songs like Stay Fly and Papa Macala. And the title of the song just points out the obvious. It's just saying, like, throwing bands of, and, or stacks of money will, will make the strippers slash horror dance on them. It featured 2 Chains and Lil Wayne and... Two Chains. He was one rapper this year, 2012, who who got all this credit and just fame this year that he just well did not deserve. To me, Two Chains is just a, a very generic Southern Atlanta rapper, and there's nothing really that stands out about him that makes him so talented. The song "Bands Make Her Dance." Wow, that was only the tenth worst song of 2012. Okay, let's just move on. Number nine, Florida Whistle. Okay, Florida, he's this this pop music rapper. And he raps, but his music's not hip-hop. And ever since, like, he, he started off his mainstream career, which was, like, in 2008 or 2007, he, he always kept his lyrics very PG. Like, he never really used profanity. And since he, this song had to have been PG, it was the most PG song you'll ever hear for a song about a blowjob. And the sad part about Florida's song Whistle is that this song was ranked as number one on the charts at one point this year. I think it was like in August. And at the beginning of the song, Florida even says something like he's, he's betting on girls and he's trying to say he's a pimp and shit. Okay, that's it for Florida. Number eight, Gautier, Somebody That I Used To Know. Now, the song Somebody That I Used To Know, that song was overplayed like a motherfucker. And it's that song was the anthem for nerds like anime and magic cards. Like, when I was at college, I'd always walk by and hear them playing on their laptops. And this song was just very, very annoying. It was, like I said, it was very overplayed on the radio, both the original version and the, the faster version, which was more like for when it was played on the radio. They, they both were pretty much the same, and I, I didn't, I never liked this song. Gautie, or Got Ye, however the fuck you say it, I really don't care, or it really doesn't matter. Hopefully, they'll go down as a, a soon-to-be called One Hit Wonder Band because they never came out with anything else and I doubt that they will. And the song Somebody That I Used To Know, it's a breakup song saying, You didn't have to cut me off. And then instead of saying something like, Fuck you or goodbye, they're just calling her somebody that they used to know. Then the girl's verse comes on and like kind of the end of the song, her voice just sounds weird. It sounds like an anime goth girl picking up a microphone. Now I the whole time she screwed me over. Uh, I don't even want to go there, but the electronic sound effects of the song were weird. The lyrics of the song were weird. The music video was very weird. And just the whole song itself was. Okay, now we're at number seven. Nicki Minaj featuring Two Chains. Bees in the Trap. All the song pretty much was, it was just pointing out that Nicki Minaj is calling her haters a bees in a trap. Be bees in a trap. Nicki Minaj, I mean, her music can be just okay at times, but she just, she uses auto-tune. When she uses auto-tune, her, 
the music can be alright, I, I guess, at times, but... And when her voice is digitally edited, and this was definitely one of the worst Nicki Minaj songs. There was also a big controversy earlier this year after Nicki Minaj was named a judge for American Idol, and Mariah, her and Mariah Carey got into like some really serious, brutal arguments, and that were on set. And Nicki Minaj even threatened to kill Mariah Carey. And now it hasn't been aired yet, but the new season for American Idol airs in January. I'm looking forward to seeing that. And yeah, so number seven was Nicki Minaj, Bees in the Trap. Number six, Neon Trees, Everybody Talks. Once again, this song was overplayed on the radio like a motherfucker. So, I mean, it was so overplayed to a point when it, it gave me a fucking headache. Yeah, that song everybody talks by neon trees and the song it's pretty much just the hey kaden yeah but the song it's it's just the lead singer of the band properly trying to get laid by telling the story and it started with a whisper and that was when i kissed her then he says everybody talks back like okay who exactly there's not too much I also have to say that like about number six, but when he says, and then she, she, in, in the part when he says, then she made my lips hurt. It was when she was biting him. Okay, so that does that mean she was biting him when they were having gay sex? Number five on the list. Wow, Tyga featuring Lil Wayne. Faded. Now, I almost didn't even put this song on the list because the song Faded by Tyga, it came out in December of 2011. And, but, it was, it was actually 2012 when the song really got exposed. The song Faded, it, it, the song just has no real message. It's, it's Tyga saying that he's faded, which means he's either stoned or he's drunk, and the fact that he just doesn't give a fuck. First of all, who would give a fuck if you're drunk or high? And second of all, Tyga, he's just bragging about himself being faded. Lil Wayne's verse was probably the second worst, so worst part of the song other than the hook. And Lil Wayne, he really went down the tubes this year, which, which was a good thing. To start off with, Lil Wayne was very overrated. In 2008 and 2009, back when everybody was all saying he was the best rapper alive. Then ever since Lil Wayne came out of jail from the Rutgers out in jail in New York, he lost all his confidence and now his new music is just worse than ever. The best way to put Lil Wayne is he's the Gilbert Arenas of rap music. Faded by Tyga and Lil Wayne was a song that really just got on my nerves. Let's move on. Number four, Ellie Goulding Lights. Ellie Goulding was just this nobody who who had a high voice. It's not even a falsetto. It, it's kind of hard how to, to put together how Ellie Goulding's voice is. And the song is just weird. And yeah, it, it does have a catchy hook. But I just could not stand the song Lights by Ellie Goulding. Number three on the list. Kanye West featuring Big Sean, Pusha T, and 2 Chains, Mercy. Kanye West, what the fuck? I mean, after having such a legendary rap career, and even after your work with Jay-Z last year, this year in 2012, you come out with all these trash-ass songs and sang all these whack-ass dudes like 2 Chains, Chief Keef, Pusha T, and Big Sean. Yeah, the list goes on. Hold on a sec. Yeah, the Kanye West, this was very uh, a struggle this year in 2012 for Kanye. And it's just like any other, the song Mercy, it's just like any other modern day hip hop song. Just talk about money, cars, and sex. But the, but the, the worst part of the song Mercy was definitely like by far the hook. The hook is literally just saying... Okay, Lamborghini Mercy, yo chick, she's so thirsty, I made that juicy, I don't know what the fuck they're saying. And then, later on, it's this black lady mumbling something like, If you know me, look at her ball, and she actually know me. The song, the, the, 
the chorus of the song, uh, hands down, was the worst part of the song. Literally just some mumbling and this this weird computer-generated voice. And every verse of the song Mercy was just horrible. Even Kanye West verse, which is a disappointment. And again, the song had two chains in it. And this is actually the third song on this list that had two chains in the song. And like I said, 2 Chains, he's just another generic southern rapper who is overrated like a motherfucker. And I've never, I never have or I know I never will be a fan of 2 Chains' music. And yeah, I already made a rant about 2 Chains. Check out my, my channel if you haven't seen the video yet. But yeah. Now we're down to number two, the number two worst song of 2012, Nicki Minaj Starships. This song could have very well been the number one song on the list, but I have a good argument, which I'm going to get to in a minute. Yeah, so Starships by Nicki Minaj was a very brainwashing, irritating song that made me want to rip my fucking hair out whenever I'd hear it on the radio. And there's several reasons why this song was just horrible. And Nicki Minaj performed this song at the NBA All-Star Game and on American Idol this year. And the reason why people go crazy over the song Starships is because Nicki Minaj is supposedly so talented. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, well, if you think Nicki Minaj is a actually has talent, go on YouTube and look up the performance of her performing the song Starships at the NBA All-Star Game and on American Idol and tell me that, try to tell me that Nicki Minaj has talent. Nicki Minaj just cannot sing for shit when she performs live and she either sounds like she's drunk or out of her mind and she's so lost that she has no idea what she's doing when Nicki Minaj performs live and every fucking radio station obsessively overplayed the song Starships and there is no subject for the song. She talks about going to the beach, getting drunk, dancing in the club. And who knows why she puts all that together in one song, then comes up with the name Starships, like it's about sci-fi or some shit like that. Okay, now we are the number one most piteous, most disgusting song that came out in the year 2012, Chief Key featuring Lil Reese, I don't like. It wasn't that hard of a decision to give Chief Keef, I don't like, the number one worst song of the year 2012. Not only was it just the most repetitive song I've ever heard in my life, there are no verses, no bridges, and the whole song is just the chorus, except he changes it around to other words that rhyme. A bitch nigga, that's that shit I don't like. A snitch nigga, that's that shit I don't like. Like he'll change words that rhyme with bitch to snitch. Then he'll say, we smoke dope all day, all night. Blah, blah, blah. That's that shit I don't like. Blah, blah, blah. I got a bad bitch and she's just right. And even, he even says something racist about white people at one point. Like, come on. I mean, yeah, I understand. If you say something racist about Caucasian people, that's the, the least most insulting of all races. But still, who cares if you don't like how white people might have treated you in the past, Chief Queef. And yeah, Chief Keef, I'm sorry, I mean Chief Queef. He's a 17-year-old rapper out of Chicago. And the best comparison I could say to Chief Keef is Soldier Boy. He reminds me so much of Soldier Boy because Soldier Boy was also 17 years old when he came out with the song Crank That. And people did buy into the song I don't like, believe it or not. The video had about 20 million views. And there's just so many negative things to say about this song. Meaningless lyrics, repeating the hook throughout the entire song, him doing that stupid ass dance, the entire music video, and just the overall stupidity and shit of the song. Chief Keef gives a very disturbing spot for the number one worst song of 2012. And yeah, the last thing I'm going to say about it is that there's a video of Chief Keef where it was mainly Lil Reese who's featured on the song. Him, those two actually beating the shit out of a girl at a at a party. 
and I'll, I'll try to, I'll post the link to it below if I remember. But yeah, that's the, the number one worst song of 2012 goes to Chief Keith and Lowell Reese, I Don't Like. And yep, that's the list, everybody. Q Dizzle Cali, subscribe, laters.